Welcome to the next installment of Trousers from Scratch. Um, got the trousers right here, but everything else is different because um, I moved. That's why you had to wait a bit for this next video. I actually moved from Brussels to Antwerp. I had to pack up everything, unpack everything. Uh, moving is a nightmare. But um, although I'm still settling in a bit, I think it's about time we got back to work. Before we can um, attach our belt hoops, we have to make them. So this is the fabric that I made my trousers in. And as you can see, I've marked here a piece which is about 27 centimeters long and then 26 millimeters wide, um, which is an inch wide. Um, you want to do this along the grain, so in the same direction as your trouser legs were laid on the on the fabric. That way, your belt hoops will look the same as your legs, which is what you want. First thing we're going to do is we're going to run a zigzag stitch um, along the edge. Um, on both. Right, um, to make a belt hoop what we're going to do is we're going to make a strip of fabric that's about nine millimeters white by folding one side back and then folding the other side back so that this is like a good size for a belt hoop. As I said I aim to make them nine millimeters. There's no need to get too anal about them. It's more important to get them all the same size than to get them all um, try to get them all exactly like millimeters. So you just iron back one side or press back one side and after that you press back the other side. We've got our strip now. This will become our belt hoops. However this at the end we need to close but we can't see the stitches at the front. So you know what that means. We're gonna hand sew this close. Just gonna run a quick stitch along the length. This comes almost to the edge, whereas this one doesn't go that far. So that's the one that I prefer to have on top. That way, the sort of zigzag seam is as much in the middle as possible. And please forgive me, I understand this is black on black and probably doesn't show very well. Another thing that won't show very well is this little thing here. This is a little piece of plastic. I don't know if you can see it. I cut it from one of those harder document binders. Um, and what I use it for is I slide it in here. Because what you have to do when you sew this shot is you have to go through the top layers, like the two overlapping back pieces, so to speak. But you don't want your needle to poke through the front. And by sliding in this, this harder plastic, it's very easy to bounce your needle off the plastic and then just bring it back up. That way you're certain that you're not going to be jamming your needle through all the fabric. Now, when I marked these uh, belt tubes, and I'm sorry if I forgot to mention this earlier, I didn't only mark the position with a vertical line so we know where they go. I also put a little horizontal line there to say where they should end. Now I put these at five and a half centimeter from the top of the waistband, five and a half down. Um, you can put them higher or lower if you want. What I would advise you to do is check what type of a belt that you would typically wear in, um, in dress uh, pants. Um, but don't put them too low because that will look silly. Don't put them too high so your belt won't pass. For me, five and a half works. Um, what are we going to do is we're going to take our little belt hoop thingy. We're going to put it down there and then we're going to we're going to sew it in place and we're going to go back and forth almost like a bar tack or a very small zigzag. We're going to go for a couple of 
couple of stitches there we really really want to attach this very well. At the same time it's important to make sure that at the back you get the lining out of the way. Right? Because you want to attach this here, you don't want to attach it to the lining. Right? So that's what we'll do. We'll do it here and on every one of the um, belt hoops. Also remember that I said you should cut about 26 centimeter of belt hoop. Um, the idea is that you saw it off and then at 8 centimeters you cut it. Right? 8 times 3 is 24 so the idea is that I'll get 3 out of these. 8 centimeters will be plenty to go up. Right, let's do this. Okay, time for some sewing. Um, these are the trousers. Now, get the lining of your waistband out of the way. This is where my belt hoop should be. Take the belt hoop and put it with the good side down onto that little T that we marked. And then attach it as if your life depended on it. Or maybe not your life at least. The fact that your trousers don't fall down. So what I do is I lay it a bit to the right, then I'm gonna attach it and I'm gonna zigzag over that edge. Make sure that that edge will stay in place. Measure down eight centimeters, like that. Take a deep breath. So this one will come like that later. And you move on to the next and you do exactly the same thing. And there you go, all the belt hoops are attached. So it's um, it's time we turn our attention to the lining. <laughs>